22 and those on the virtual platform too. I bring greetings from the South Trinidad Circuit and also from the San Fernando Methodist Church. As we worship God on this covenant Lord's Day, we stand as we sing, Bless the Lord, O my soul.
most of us on the virtual platform. It is page 117 in our Methodist prayer book. That's the order we will follow for today for our covenant service. I will ask those on the back to take their seat. We'll finish. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together. Mighty God, to whom all our hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom the secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Dearly beloved, the Christian life to which we are called is a life to which we are dearly beloved, the Christian life to which we are called is a life in Christ, redeemed from sin by Him and consecrated to God through Him. We have entered into this new life by mission into that new covenant of which Christ is the mediator and which we seal with his own blood. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the covenant has two sides. On the one side is the promise which God has made to fulfill in and through us all that he declared in Jesus Christ. It is a promise which has never failed. It is a promise we are proven in our lives from day to day. It is a promise which still stands. It is a promise on which we can always rely. The other side is our pledge to live not for ourselves, but for him who gave himself for us and who has called us to serve him so that the purposes of his coming to earth may be fulfilled. We have the opportunity from time to time to rededicate our lives to Christ and especially so when we share the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. My dear brothers and sisters, we are meet in a special way today that we may once again deliberately, solemnly, and joyfully know the covenant which unites us together, binds us to God. Let us then first engage an act of adoration, acknowledging the greatness and goodness of God. And having made confession of our sins, here I receive his holy word, we ourselves and new to him. Let us stand as we continue in prayer. And those on the virtual platform, I ask you to stand too. Let us adore God, our loving Father who created us, who continually preserves and sustains us, who has loved us in an everlasting love, and gave us the light of the knowledge of his glory in the face of Jesus Christ. We praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be O God. Let us glory in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, yet for sake became poor. Though tempted, not point as we are, yet he was without sin. Who went about doing good, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, became obedient to death, even death, the cross. Who overcame the power of death 
and open the kingdom of heaven to all believers who sits the right hand of God, the glory of the Father, and who will come again to be our judge. Let us rejoice in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, by whom we are born into the family of God, and are made members of the body of Christ, whose witness confirms us, whose wisdom enlightens us, whose power enables us, who wills to do more for us than we can ask or think. All praise to you, Please be seated. To make our own confession to God, I want us to turn our eyes and our maker. Responsibilities. 
Forgive us for refusing to take up our cross and for being unwilling to overcome evil with good. Forgive us, Lord God, that so little of your love has reached others through us. Forgive us that we are being so unsympathetic about the wrongs and sufferings which others endure. Forgive us for making mischief, sowing discord, and harboring enmity. Lord God, forgive us that others find it so hard to live or keep company with us. Forgive us for our awful criticism, our hasty judgments, our readiness to condemn, and our refusal to forgive and forget. And have mercy on us and forgive us. But God, and if we are not truly trying to be kind and understanding, and if we have not yet stretch out the hand of fellowship and if we still turn our backs on effort at reconciliation and our Christian profession has been a stumbling block to others and displeasing to you a mercy my brothers and sisters in Christ it is dear Cried out to, the, to Yahweh to create a human clean heart. That each of us in silence confess our sins to God. And this first Sunday, year 2022, Yahweh knows everything about us. Yahweh knows our strength. Our weaknesses. I ask you to confess your own sins unto God. And then we'll continue with the prayers.
in Christ. This is the message which we have heard from him and declared unto you that God is light and in him is the darkness of all. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus his son cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves from the truth is not in us. As we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins, to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Amen. We shall we stand? Together we say, Glory to God on high.
there are four services. I don't think I've had too much of my being here. You stay here. We continue to sing and give God a go and to we sing no more. But again, you have to observe the law of the nation. We go right into the ministry of the, the word. And we will all pray the collect. And then we'll hear from the Old Testament, Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 to 33. The tedium which we will sing. I hope this morning. Yeah, this must be at the um, sample and we can sing it. You can sing it to you, right? If not, we will just read it. And then the Epistle Revelation, chapter 21, verses 1 to 7. Before the Gospel reading, we will sing Ali Ali. And then the Gospel according to John, chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. Then we will sing back Ali Ali. And we will have the hymn, Come let us use the grace we buy. Together we pray the calling. Almighty God, our Father, who appointed your Son Jesus Christ to be the mediator of the new and better covenant, give unto us the grace of your Holy Spirit, that you may come here with a true heart and in full assurance of faith, and be united with you in a perpetual covenant, to the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and great with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Persons that are assigned to do the readings, please stop. Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 to 32. The Old Testament lesson is taken from Jeremiah chapter 31. I am reading from verses 31 to 33. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors, when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is a covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. This is the word of God. Reading the tedium, we praise the O God. Okay, we, we praise the O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth are worshipped, the Father everlasting. To be all angels cried aloud, in heavens and all the powers they are in. To be terrible and serving, unto the one who are Holy, 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 Lord God of Son. And heaven and earth are worshipped, and all the earth are The glorious company of the apostles praise you. The glory and fellowship of the prophets praise you. Lord God, and the martyrs praise you. The whole church for all the world of God have blessed. The Father of an infinite majesty. Thy mother of the truth and the Holy Son. Also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. The Lord of the Glory of Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou art the Son of the Lord, thou art the Lord of the When thou overcome the sharpness of death, that this open the kingdom of heaven to our believers. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We made them to be numbered with thy saints. Glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy Covenant. 
and lift them up forever. And we worship thy name for war without thee. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us. As our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let it not be. We stand and say, Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be. Lord, we thought then. We seek it as we hear from Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 7. The new heaven and the new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth has passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne say, See, the house of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Before we do the class, we will say, Ari Please 
on this first Sunday in the year 2022 is simply a word that comes from God that declared His gifts for the new year. And so the theme for this morning reflection, God's gifts for the new year. What is God's gifts for the new year? What is that? It is the prophet, Jeremiah, the very prophet, who declared unto us in chapter 31, verses 31 to 33. And I want us to really and truly meditate on verses 33. This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it in, on their hearts. And I will be their God and they will be my own. The gift that Reverend Baker is talking about is a gift of a new heart, a new covenant, and a new relationship with God. And that's the gift that I bring to us for 2022. A new heart. Israel, God's chosen race, broken and dismayed, in confusion, have nowhere to worship Yahweh, is in trouble. The wailing prophet, Jeremiah, gave them a word. The time is coming, declares the Lord. I will make a new covenant. And that covenant, my dear brothers and sisters here at San Fernando, and on the virtual platform, is our heart. Is your heart right with the Lord God Almighty? If my heart is not clean, I cannot do nothing. If your heart is not right, the Lord God Almighty, nothing will happen. This new heart for each individual as a human being is where we build a foster of relationship with Yahweh, with our brothers and sisters. This new heart will be a heart of peace, happiness, joy, and the list goes on. Israel, God chosen people, miss what the Lord God wanted of them. Yahweh loved them. Yahweh sent many prophets to deliver them, but they were stubborn. Their heart was hardened towards Yahweh. Their standard of life was different. Instead of living a holy life unto God, are still living sinful lives. And it reminds me of us today. Not because we have left 2021. 20, what is it that we are coming in in the year 2022 with? Are we still with a dirty heart from 2021? Are we allowing the Holy Spirit of God? which declares in the gospel lesson, a blind in me. And friends, 
we just start playing church. Many of us are playing church. Our heart must be clean for Yahweh.
and trials that we may, we may face. As a Methodist church, we have a lot of work. We decline in membership. Our young people, children, our young adults who are unemployed, members who have lost their business, members who are on the poverty line, the decline in our ministry. Persons are reluctant to come into ministry or to, to say, Here I am, Lord, use me. Many are overworked. Many are frustrated. In our covenant pledge, he said, Rock me. But he also said some valid things there for us. And he also declared, Let me be employed for you, or stand aside for you. Christian friends, this morning, I want you to examine yourself with God. How is your relationship with your master? Do you want a new heart? But is pure, loving, and forgiving for God. Do you want a new spirit that will bind us, that will help us to abide in God? Do you want a new covenant that will also bind up everything that you do in the Lord God Almighty? Look around us today and see what is happening. Christ in you. The work is not for the minister, the congregation has still for 2022. The work of God is for all of us. And I've said it and I, I hope Brother Brenton has given you the news of those who are supposed to be should be here this week. That we take initiative and sit down. Look at the way forward for God's church, for God's people. Things have to be done differently to the power of God. Not by us, but by the power of God. Amen. Amen. I wish all of us a prosperous and a healthy 2022, filled with joy. Filled with love and laughter. But let me tell you this too. 2022 can be, can bring some trials for us. And I pray by God's grace when these trials come, that you will say, Lord, guide me, O great Jehovah. That you will say, Lord, Hold my hand as I go through the rough parts. And let me say this by brothers and sisters. God will see us. May the good Lord who have granted us this day for us to have a new heart, a new spirit, a new relationship for us to build our covenant Find us faithful as we continue to strive to do the will of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord God, we are not worthy. We are not worthy, O oh God. We have messed up misery. We have failed you. We allow the material things of this world to blind us. 
for oh God, you have so mercy. Lord God, as we search ourselves, as we renew our covenant, help us not to be the same, but to be on fire for you. Bless us now, we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We sing the hymn, In Your Hands. In Your Hands.
all about what happened over the years. Focus on God now. Let go and allow the Holy Spirit of God to use you. Let go, deny yourself, and allow the Holy Spirit of God to take control. Together, God's people say, we believe in the Together we say, we got the covenant pleasures yet. The pastor's feet, the nice pizza. We believe in one God, the Father, Creator of heaven and earth.
as we prepare ourselves to take our vows. Let us be still and know that God is God. O Lord God, Heavenly Father, who have called us through Christ to be partakers in this gracious covenant, we take upon ourselves again the yoke of obedience and engage ourselves in joyful patient to seek and to do your perfect will. But God, we are no longer our own. We belong to you. Together, God, speak with you. I am no longer I belong to you. You may be know what you have come to do. Associate me with whomsoever you please. Let me be a service to others. Let others be a service to me. Let me be employed for you and stand aside for you. Fill me or empty me. Enrich me or accomplish me. Exalt me or humble me. I lay my whole life on the altar. I yield myself all I have to your pleasure and disposal. And now, gracious and blessed, blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I am yours and you are mine. So be it. And may the covenant I have now made in this place be rectified. Sisters in Christ, and we call upon our congregation as soon to bring us the notices. By the giving, and then we giving up our tithes and offering and the blessing of our tithes and offering. The prayers of intercession, the Lord's prayer this morning. I know many of us heard it that Reverend Dewsbury died on yesterday, sorry, Friday night on the Zoom platform. We give God the glory and praises for him. Was making preparation to call him to Mordan yesterday to wish him the blessed birthday, which is to be is his birthday, to be the second of January. But God knows this. God do have our time. When he is ready for us, we can listen to him. And so during the prayers of intercession. We will spend a few minutes of silence recognizing our brother. Just want to say welcome once again to our brothers and sisters here with us this morning and those viewing on the virtual platform. And I trust God that the message that we have been heard this morning by Reverend Baker will have touched our hearts and when we leave here. While we are in this service, I should say, we, we look into our hearts, see where we are with God. And we do not want to be carrying any load from 2021 unnecessarily into 2022. 2021 is behind us, and we look forward to a year of great things in the Lord. Amen? Amen. I just would like to acknowledge Reverend Baker this morning as our superintendent minister giving us the message and also here to take us through this covenant service and I would also like to welcome Mrs. Baker who is here with us in the congregation. We're having you both with us. I would like to say thanks and appreciation to those who came and prepared the sanctuary for worship. For Brother Victor, it has been the color accompaniment. God, your visual team, the ushers, Sister Chase, who worked tirelessly to ensure that important items are put in place for an effective worship experience, Sister Chase. And Brother Hollis Lifton for his live streaming, yes, to the wider audience. Thank you, Brother Hollis, and to those who quietly do their part in making this worship experience a success. In prayers, let us as a congregation continue to pray for our sick and shortened members, and especially those of our members stricken with the COVID-19 virus. 
our dear sister old people who have been having physical challenges and the entire people family. And I just want to pause here for a moment. Just as I got into the chapel this morning, I saw a WhatsApp message on my phone from my husband. And the message said that she is she has improved, she was doing okay between last night and this morning and she, she was eating and resting quietly. She's still at the hospital, but um, there was word that she had gotten a stroke. But he said um, all the tests proved that she had not had a stroke, so that is good news. Uh, she is resting and she is, she is eating and she has eaten and drinking and so on. So let's continue to lift up our sister in prayer. And special mention must be made to must be made of the family to the family of Reverend Sheldon Dewsbury. Reverend just spoke to, to this who passed away yesterday morning after a period of illness. Let us remember them in our prayers. And finally, let us lift up the body of Christ in this ensuring ensuring year 2020. So that we can build a church that the gates of hell cannot prevail against. Birthdays and anniversaries. Are there any one celebrating a birthday and anniversary this today or this coming week? No one in the chapel. But there may be someone out there on the virtual platform listening and watching it. We probably celebrating, so we send them birthday wishes and anniversary. Congratulations to those who are. Oh, you forgot. But I believe you forgot that your birthday is on Tuesday. I sure I heard that sometime and what is Friday night, right? Yes. Friday night I knew that your birthday is on the side of the week to see what's going on. So we have brother. Let's do that with this one for Let us not forget that we are in a period of a pandemic and 
to see more and more of our members contracting the virus and we need to be safe and do all that is necessary. I know that the, the uh, Reverend have sent out a, a, and I hope that you should be putting it up on the screen during the notices to let them know that we follow all safety protocols when we enter the chapel whatever service or whatever we need to be following the safety protocols at all times we need to be reminded of that i think you should flash it you all have it safia <coughs> Right, so we need to just make sure that all safety protocols, health and safety protocols, are for these are the notices I have for this time, and we now have our time and all. Right, so we have
you continue to call men and women in your service, in your church. And at this time, oh God, we bring before you the Methodist Church in the Caribbean and the Americas before you. As the various districts prepare for council meetings, remember the connectional officers. Remember, oh God, those in the South Caribbean district. We bring Derek before you, our bishop, Delaney, our secretary, all our ministers. All our delegates. We also pray, O oh God, for our preachers, stewards, members. We pray, O oh God, for the guidance of your love and mercy and wisdom of whatever is said and done and to bring honor and glory to your name. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, we remember this time our children, youths, and our young adults. As they prepare to go out to school tomorrow, the God of education, the God who has given us teachers, the God who has given us schools and different places of learning, we pray, O oh God, for your protection on our children, our youths, and our, our young adults who are unemployed. We place them before you, O oh God. Those who are stressed. Those are frustrated, we place them into your hands. Pray for God, you are God who heal and restore. Many of them, O oh God, are confused. Many, O oh God, have turned into crime and violence. Many have been abused. So the God who liberates, the God who sets us free, the God who promises us a new heart, a new spirit, a new covenant. Have mercy upon them. Lord, in your mercy. The God who heal and restore, we bring before you our sick and shutting members. God, at this time, we bring Sister Cupid before you and others. That your healing touch will be upon them. On those, O oh God, who are affected by the COVID 19 sickness. Lord, with you, all things are possible. You continue to heal and restore. Oh God, we know that with you all will be well. May you bless them, O oh God, and may you take care of them. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, we bring before you at this time those who we have lost. In the beginning of this year, 2022, O oh God, we lost a colleague, a friend, a father, a husband, a brother. God, we thank you for the Reverend Sheldon, just very this ministry, O oh God. We bring Angela and children before you and other family members. Let the God of comfort and the God of declare, let not your hearts be troubled. Let the God of declare unto us, I am the resurrection and the life. And so Lord God, we thank you for all those whom you have called. But we celebrate with those who celebrate their birthdays and anniversary. May you continue to uplift all of us. Yes, we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who has taught us to see. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trust us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Friends, as we continue the act of service, we go right into the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. And our communion hymn is the hymn, Let us enter into covenant with Christ, celebrating the Eucharist of love. Number 429. The VIP during the singing of the scene, be careful. This is a hymn for you to dance as you come to the, the table of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us enter into covenant with us. <laughs>
good and pleasant thing, joyful and solitary, always in every way to give you thanks and praise. Lord God, ever living, ever blessed, almighty, our loving, through Jesus Christ, your only Son of the Lord, you created all things and made us in your image. And when we are fallen into sin, you give him to be our Savior and share our human nature. And live a full real human life. He suffered rejection and condemnation and died on the cross. He raised him up from the dead. He exalted him to the glory of your right hand where he reigns forever, forever as priest and king and make intercession for us. In witness of his glory and honor, he pour out the Holy Spirit, made not many people into one body, and making us living members of the Holy Church. And enable us to stand before you to sing your praises and celebrate the mighty God. And, and especially on this day, we give you thanks for accepting us as partakers in your gracious covenant and for counting us among your people who worship with you as God. And therefore with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we join in the hymn of everlasting praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, and blessed is the Son Jesus Christ, O Lord, who on the night in which he was betrayed took bread with his holy hands, looking up to heaven, thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it. This is my body given for you in remembrance of me. Same way after the supper, he took the cup, they sit and give it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poor for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ has risen upon the dead. Therefore, Father, in obedience to his command, we do this in remembrance of him. Pray that you will accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we will receive your gifts of bread and wine and share in the body and blood of Christ and become united with him. And as we offer ourselves to you as living sacrifice, we pray that you will bring us with your whole creation to heavenly kingdom. This we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. the virtual platform with your family, the body of Christ which was broken for you. Amen. Come on blessing with you bless. Share the blood of Christ. Amen. Be sit quietly. Together we say, Lord, we come to your table, trusting in your mercy, and not in any goodness of our own. We are not good that are not the of your table, but it is your nature all in us of mercy, and at that we repent. So feed us with the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your Son, that we may forever live in him. God we serve, Amen. God is here, and will always be with us. He declares unto us, you who truly and sincerely repent of your sins, are in love and charity with your neighbors, and have you resolved to lead a new life following the commandments of God, and by the power of the Spirit, walking in His holy ways, join our faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which was given for you. And his blood which was shed for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith and thanksgiving. The table of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
is open for all of us when we come. <coughs>
thank you, Lord, that your fellows with the sacrament, united us to Christ and given us. We bring this service to a close, but the work of God continues. Father, let me give all this year to thee. We stand as we sing our closing hymn. 498.
transfer it on the new covenant. I have for Sigmatadin and then I go over to Pfizer Baxter Parker. Today I have full services.